From your weather authority, here is Chief Meteorologist Randy Turner. Welcome back, and there is a tornado watch in effect until 9 o'clock tonight. It does cover uh, the area from Brady to Eden to San Angelo, Robert Lee, Broad, Ballinger, Winters, Coleman, on over to Brownwood, up to Abilene. Conditions favorable for severe thunderstorms that may produce tornadoes. A couple have already happened. We still have outside of our viewing area, southern Eastland County and northern Comanche County under tornado warnings right now. Me folks in Mason, Menard, Junction, El Dorado, Sonora, Ozona, Big Lake, Mer in Sterling City, you are not in the tornado watch. Well, here's what's happening right now. Not much in our viewing area. It's all kind of moving out of the far northeastern Concho Valley. Uh, the storm's headed to the east. But uh, I would say there's a potential that we could still develop some storms, and I'll show you where that might be here in a moment. Right now, De Leon, Gorman, if you're familiar with that area, have got another strong thunderstorm moving into Cross Plains. There was a tornado, big funnel cloud just northeast of Cross Plains that came out of this storm, still capable of producing a uh, tornado there. But looking at the satellite imagery, here between Ballinger and Winters and up toward Abilene, the dry line is kind of right in this area, so you could still boil up a thunderstorm somewhere in this region over the next hour or two. But mainly, it's just hot outside. Currently, San Angelo, we have to adjust that official high, 104. Mertz 102 degrees. Big Lake, you're at 101. Sterling City, Robert Lee, both at 103. Junction, 103. Uh, Sonora, 98. Ozona, 100 degrees. Mid-90s, Brady and Mason. Here's a look at the feels like temperatures. You factor in the humidity, add that into the temperature. Look at this. Junction feels like 111, feels like 107 in Mason, feels like 105 in Menard. And you look at the western part of the area, and the humidity has dropped because the dry line is right here in this region. And so west of there, much drier air. Humidity, not as much of a factor, but it's still plenty hot. So the dry line, again, roughly right now, right here in this region, the better chance of storms will be east of the dry line. So well, I'm not saying that San Angelo is totally finished with the storm chance, uh, but the chances seem to be dwindling in this immediate area. 106 down in Laredo, plenty of heat, southwest Texas. Not as hot, but still plenty humid over here in the east. Futurecast does try to show that maybe midnight or a little after, this model anyway, suggesting maybe some redevelopment of showers and storms. And uh, through 3.30 this morning, 4.30 in the morning, 6.30 maybe could come through once again. So we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, not much of anything happening tomorrow. It looks like that we'll get through our Sunday and most of Monday with no thunderstorm activity here in the area. So that brings us up to the weather forecast for tonight. I'm going to leave a 30% chance of rain in the forecast, a low tonight of 72. This tornado watch will last until 9 o'clock tonight unless it gets canceled a little bit early. But where the storms happen, they will be severe. They'll tend to produce large hail, damaging winds, and isolated tornadoes. For tomorrow, 100 degrees, mostly sunny, just hot. But a northwest wind of 10 to 20 miles per hour, so a bit of a change in wind direction for tomorrow, kind of breezy. And then Monday on Memorial Day, 20% chance of a late day storm and it's hot again, 103. 95 degrees Tuesday. We've got a 50% chance of thunderstorms Tuesday, 20 to 30% chance through the end of next week. It is an unsettled weather pattern coming our way with daily storm chances next week.